Good morning, guys. Give me a second to post this. Um, so we're having kind of weird energy going on. We're supposed to be resting right now, believe it or not. Um, right now is the best time to tune into your dreams in the other realm. So we have these kind of terror attacks going on. Hold on one sec. Let me just throw this on my wall. So we're having these terror attacks going on. And it's kind of cutting into our resting time. Have one more, sorry. But it's kind of different because I'm in some different groups now and out of a few groups, so I'm trying to like share it. Bear with me one sec. Um, I have lots of big news, of course. I wasn't going to mention these terror attacks um, because they're not even worthy of the news. Like, they're not even worthy enough to make my news, honestly, because <laughs> they're completely fake. So they really weren't even going to make my news, but it was kind of tying in with other real actual news um, that wasn't making the news, so I am going to have to mention them. Um, but these are just crazy. Don't feed into it. <clears throat> I did see it's a trap. I call it a trap, where if you feed into it, it will take a lot of energy. Like 9-11 created a lot of fear and um, anxiety and bad energy. It's called loose energy. So they generate these kind of events. And um, yes, they are false flag events. But are people harmed um, in the making of a false flag event? I'm sure. I'm sure there are. And um, that is very serious. But it's also an orchestrated event. You have to remember that we're really on a world stage right now. All of these leaders, oh my god, North Korea is going to shoot us right now. They're going to annihilate the United States. Before it was Russia, it'll be Russian next time. And they play games back and forth. But mind you, all of these leaders um, were born into these roles. They were trained in like Masonic lodges, a lot of them. And they were kind of born into this and taught that they're the elite and we're kind of a subservient class. And they are trained to keep these kind of secrets within these bloodlines. So this really is a world stage. <laughs> if um, these leaders really hated each other so badly they wouldn't be shaking hands and acting like best friends in photo ops. So just really think about this stuff. Think for yourself. We have New York City bringing heavy weapons to Grand Central City Hall. We had these terrorist attacks near the UK Parliament building. This is on the one year anniversary of the Brussels event. Imagine that. Um, and we saw the Mossad's tied to it, of course. The NYPD is bringing in heavy weapons to several locations in New York City. For them um, to be doing this at all, they had to have information that it was part of a bigger plan. They wouldn't just go, you know, start doing stuff like this in other areas if they didn't have intel or information. So really think about it. Um, that didn't make the news. These two, right? That didn't make the news. Um, these are orchestrated attacks designed to take your liberties. And you will hand them, most people will hand them over, maybe not us anymore, but most people will hand over their liberties in exchange for the feeling of protection when you really didn't need it in the first place. Um, in order to defeat all of this, I have news for you guys. We have to come together um, into unity, and that means people from every country. <laughs> Not just one country. It won't work. It has to be a global unity where people just have had enough of all of the governments and they rise up in unity. That's how it works. And it's not going to be like um, protests and riots kind of rising up. It's going to be more like we're taking back consciousness. We're going to work on ascending. We're activating our DNA, working on ascension and working on taking back consciousness in a positive way. I'm working on making a really positive ripple effect where I'm just very conscious with my work and my actions now. And I try to be positive all the time and always be putting out like love energy and just doing everything very consciously. And I'm seeing it have amazing positive results. Um, so just stay pure of heart, stay on this path, and intend to activate your DNA. We all need to be drinking a lot more liquids, too. Um, this will help flush toxins out of your body. We are going, I personally went from a two-strand um, DNA system to a 12-strand DNA system. So since we're being upgraded, it will help flush the toxins out. This is kind of a long process. Most people will go up like two strands every couple months, etc. So just drink a lot of water, throw some lemon in your water, um, flush the toxins out of your body. 
we have an increase in small earthquakes around the New Madrid fault line. I'm waiting for the root chakra of the earth to open up um, because I live in the root chakra, which is America. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it to open. Yes, I realize there are people that live there. Um, I'm okay with that. I believe the earth is going to purge out lower emotion, lower vibrations. And I believe that, that this is happening in a lot of areas and you'll still be safe um, if you're meant to ascend and you're meant to do this. So it depends on if you're going to stay here or incarnate to the other planet as to what you'll really see. But I'm really excited for it. I can't wait. Um, and if you really think about it, what's in California? A lot of lower vibration things. That's where Hollywood is. Okay, May 1st is a massive protest day against the globe, I guess. You can expect this day to be insane. Um, George Soros is already hiring paid protesters. We have 340,000 people expected to walk off their jobs that day. Um, and all that really results in that is they get fired, so it doesn't really help anything. But I'm, I don't really care about protests. I only care about them in the regard that the earth will respond to these protests. So that's what they do. They go out, pay a bunch of people, and then they get people to go join in, and it creates some kind of mayhem, and then the earth will respond and and probably, you know, the fault line in California goes off or whatever. They know this. Um, these are advanced reptilian entities that we're kind of against. And so they're very advanced with things like astrology. That's why this attack, um, this attack that happened yesterday was astrologically planned out to cut into our resting time because we have a full moon, a half, a new moon Monday the 27th. So because of that energy, we all can sleep really good right now. But like in a day or two, we're not going to be able to sleep again. We're going to get tired. So the goal was with that terror attack planned out right at that moment was to make us more tired for this weekend so that we're actually going to be exhausted by Monday. Are you kidding? Because we aren't going to sleep as good. It's just weighing down consciousness. They play these games to attack consciousness, basically. So um, my, my thing is I'm seeing a lot of people are awake, though. A lot of people are awake. Um, and most of the people watching me should be awake or semi-awake or, um, you know, how they have a good start on their spiritual journey. So we need to be aware that if you're awake, you're energetically affecting people, whether they like it or not. I know people can choose to stay sleeping, but on a cellular level, your energy is just different and you're kind of affecting people. So um, start talking more about stuff. Start trying to wake up your friends and family. Um, we've been doing that forever. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, most of the time it won't work, but still try. Try your hardest to wake up the people around you um, because your energy will do amazing things. We have Pope Francis making the news again. I love any of the when Catholic stuff makes the news. Pope Francis wants his priests to go through this denomic screening. They say that priests are to perform exorcisms on anyone that confesses to denomic activities. And you're seeing certain things that are portrayed on the surface with these institutions. But behind the scenes, evil spirits and denomic activities are everything these individuals have going on with the occult. Trust me. So it looks like, oh, we're helping humanity. We're going to help all these negative entities. They are the negative entities. So just be aware of that. Um, I think that's why so many people turned on that spiritual path away from religion into spirituality because it didn't resonate. It didn't resonate. It, it did, some of it didn't resonate with me. Um, I know that a member of my soul group, I tell, I tell this story, he was probably five years old and his whole family stopped going to church because he's so evolved and he could see through it. And he was like, no, this isn't possible. And the whole family stopped going to church. But I, I just feel like some things don't resonate, like, because it's so distorted that a lot of us had to look for answers other places and we became spiritual. So just really use your discernment with these kind of things. I think that's crazy um, as an actual healer and someone that does kind of stuff like that. These kind of exorcism movies are crazy. Um, people don't know what they're doing and it's insane if you think a crucifix is going to get rid of an entity. But whatever. You're just seeing um, huge things on this stage. Huge things all at once. Remember, we are living in a hologram. It is an orchestrated kind of, almost like a computer program. It's made of codes, very similar to that. Um, so everything is very orchestrated. So don't think that. We actually have nothing to fear. Um, it's just kind of an elaborate play, if you will. Um, so we really know who created ISIS. Um, we know, they, and now they're sending our soldiers to fight it as well. We're seeing huge things where they're in other countries, in China, I believe, they're amping up their military, which is causing America to do the same. So now we have the same people have now funded both sides of the war. Think about this. 
The same people are funding both sides of the war. So there's a lot of people that are um, young people, especially signing up for our military um, nowadays. I know a lot of people because um, I came from a military family. I know a lot of people around me um, that were in the military that served for this country, fought hard for this country, and now feel really bad about it because they were tricked. They were tricked. And I don't think they would make the same uh, decisions in hindsight. Um, so we all really know who created, trained, and funded ISIS. Um, this is their tool to control the masses. We've all been lied to and misled. That's how they get people to sign up for the military. The same hand that caused 9-11 took out JFK. The same hand that let Par Pearl Harbor get attacked. The Gulf of Tancon and any other false flag event. And this is all the Mossad behind these events. Um, so right now, we're gearing up for a bigger false flag event. <laughs> That was just that was just to get things started, by the way. <laughs> we're gearing up for, we're very long overdue for um, a kind of a catastrophic one. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all when they're flooding New York City um, with these kind of people if something wasn't going to happen there um, at all. We're just kind of gearing up for something bigger. Um, don't let it distract you. I saw people writing, fuck the Muslims, I hate, I hate Islam, terrorists, and <laughs> all this stuff, and I'm just like... Okay, I'm sending you healing energy, but don't don't feed into this. We need unity. These are tactics to divide um, to divide different countries against each other. These are tactics because when um, the people take back their power and rise up, it will be through unity of many nations. Um, I'm really connecting with my soul group, and we're spread out everywhere, all over the world right now. Um, so we're kind of all spread out to light up a grid. And it will be through a unity um, with each other. So just stay really high vibe. I'm, I'm vibrating too high for any negativity to phase me. Um, at this point, I'm just ignoring any negativity and it will go away. <laughs> I'm ignoring it and eventually it will go away. So because um, me and my twin flame, we're still healing. But I would say I'm pretty healed at this point. Um, I'm definitely feeling healed. Um, one with my flame. Like we've never been more one with each other. We're in sync. I feel connected. I feel healed. So um, at this point, I would say any negativity isn't really coming from a reflection of me. It's just it's still a lot of it in the same place because um, we're kind of sharing a collective. It's not like all, my, all from me at this point. So um, if I'm around any negativity, I'm going to discern better and I'm going to step away from it. And um, it's okay because I'm vibing more with the best group of people. I'm kind of more in alignment as me and my twin flame fall out of alignment with some of our old friends. I'm, I'm kind of more in alignment with um, all of you guys. So it's kind of amazing. It's okay. I'm not hanging on anymore. I'm just letting the universe do it and going with the flow. So, and it's just so much better to live like that. Like, I used to have so much depression, anxiety, um, I don't know. Just when you're not living your purpose or your mission, it will make you very depressed. That's why we see so many antidepressants everywhere. Um, we are basically a species with amnesia right now. Even me, as tuned in and connected as I am, I have a lot of um, unanswered questions probably about my origins, right? We just don't have all the information we need here. Um, we still have limited information, so just go with the flow. Just know that you're becoming your higher self. That's what we're here to do. We're here to evolve into our higher selves. Um, I was telling a doctor this morning, um, he, said, he said he was a doctor. I said, oh, I'm a healer. And he said something, <laughs> something because he's from another country. I said, I'm a sp spiritual healer. And it felt really good to say that. It felt really good because I've been um, on this path to become my higher self. I, I handed over my whole life. I killed my ego personality basically. And I had like almost a walk-in experience where I became my higher self. Like literally. And my twin flame had already done that, um, that whole process. And it feels really good and amazing. And now I'm becoming my higher self, which would be me in the sixth density. Um, so we're, a lot of people are aiming like, oh, I want to be in 4D and 5D. Um, I'm trying to go back to 60, which is a state of oneness and purity. Um, so what makes it so amazing too is if you can get back to a state of complete purity, which I have yet to, I've yet to get there, right? But I'm working on it. I'm becoming more pure every day with my energy. Um, you'll just see mir miraculous things all the time. My flame's a little bit probably more clear than me. He's been, um, he's been healing and purifying a lot longer than me. I just woke up like two years ago. He's been awake like... 
10 years at least. So I'm still working on it um, and every day I'm just getting younger and healing and doing kind of amazing things with healing and I'm seeing really miraculous things around me. Um, I'm working with a really amazing team of angels. I have this other healer I was telling her this morning. She has an amazing, she has amazing angels all around her, amazing energy, angelic energy. Um, so we're using kind of a higher dimensional um, healing system, even though I, we say it's Reiki. It's really kind of a higher dimensional healing system. It's just really amazing to be on this path. And I'm just really grateful for all you guys, too. So grateful. I'm going to do cards now. I know I'm all over the place, as usual. <laughs> I get so much positive um, energy and so many comments, it's hard for me to focus. Um, I'm much better one-on-one. -on -one. Cheryl Steiner, you can have my energy, work on purifying yourself. Um, you're literally, and then I forget who I was talking to, I have to get better at this today. Cheryl, um, nostalgia, let go of these memories. Um, you have everything inside of you. I have the whole cosmos inside of me. Um, I also am, as I'm activating my DNA, I'm activating all of the knowledge that's stored in my DNA. Um, we have all of the knowledge of, of our ancestors in our DNA. We have the knowledge of the Anunnaki in our DNA. So we really are yet, have yet to tap into what we'll be able to do. You're going to be able to do amazing, amazing things. So just stay on this ascension path. Um, drink a lot of water because I'm sending you a lot of healing energy. That's why I do these videos and that's why I'm on Facebook. I'm using it to connect and send energy to you guys to help activate and heal you guys. So um, just like all of these memories, you have to become lighter to do this process. So I kind of look at my life prior to ascension like a past life, like the whole thing. Um, I kind of have like 20 lives in one anyway. I just let it go. I've just, I've just had let it go. I started a new life. I started a new beginning with my twin flame. And anything prior to that, I've healed and let go. So um, throughout that process, though, I would have a lot of childhood memories coming up, memories of my family, etc., maybe relationship stuff, whatever. Just view that memory um, and release it and just forgive anyone involved that you are learning with. We, we have so many types of relationships when we come here. We don't just have, oh, the twin flame relationship, right? No. We're learning with our friends, our family. From the time that we come here, we've contracted to be around everyone that we're with. So we have so many types of love, relationships, everything, but we're here for love. We're here to learn unconditional love and just to how to be nicer people. Ashley Nicole, you're already so successful in everything you're doing. Um, just the fact that I'm giving you a card right now tells me amazing things about you. I'm drawing um, gifted, amazing people to me. Um, I'm basically drawing a lot of different people for different reasons, but I'm drawing um, people that are, have twin flame unions that are about to get into or they're into. I'm drawing people with crystal children, um, just in all different regards, light workers, incarnated angels, aliens, um, elementals, just every kind of everything. And I'm hearing the most amazing stories. Like, And I, I know there's people that believe this kind of stuff isn't real. <laughs> I know, I know, let me think. Probably people in my family and um, my Twin Flames family that would say that this is crazy. But, um, or no, who was it? I'm trying to think because there was someone who really doesn't believe it. And um, one of Sparks' friends. And he was like, are you kidding me? You should see the messages that we get with people telling us the most amazing, um, their experiences with extraterrestrials, elementals, just insane, just things of the spiritual nature. And it's just so amazing. I get um, amazing synchronicities too, angel numbers, 1111, 222. Um, I'll go out in the matrix. I'll see on license plates, number codes all, all day long. Um, so you're going to know you're on the right path. Like, I woke up this morning with an amazing message about our healing work on my Facebook page. Like, you're just going to see signs that you're on the right path. Just follow them. Stay pure of heart and you'll see more magic. Um, so you're already so successful in everything that you're doing. Just really work on spiritual purity. Allison Walker. Good morning, Lightworker. <laughs> Good morning, Lightworker. You are the light. Um, I was telling someone this morning that you have enough light in you to light up the entire world. If you change yourself, you change your inner world, the entire outer world you're seeing will change um, for the better in an amazing way. So you literally can change this whole entire world you're seeing. Um, literally, it's insane.
So you have so much light. I always light up when I see um, you guys of my soul group. It makes me light up. I get really excited giving you guys a card or whatever. Just know that you're such a light. You're brighting. Pe you're really lighting people up. And it's amazing. All we have to do is be positive to each other. And people are water. <laughs> um, so if I write love or hate on a bottle of water, we all know what happens, right? The chemical consistency of the water will change. So this is the same with people. So I'm trying to put more loving energy into my twin flame, my dog, me. I'm just trying to be more loving. And amazing things are happening. Um, it's very healing. So, and I had, I had it really bad. I was telling someone yesterday, I said, well, how long um, do you take the CBD for until you, till you can stop taking it? I said, well, I've been on it a year, but I need another year to heal. That's a long time. That's probably the worst case scenario with healing this body because I, I have been through so much with it and I've seen miraculous things with healing. So you will heal completely. Just start being more positive to yourself and it will do amazing things. Let's see, Michelle Johnson, you are a healer. It keeps skipping. You are a healer. Um, well, we teach Reiki too. Um, in the future, I'm gonna write my own kind of pro healing program and um, that we use above Reiki so that if you're a Reiki master, you can take the one last class that we're gonna do. But right now we're teaching Reiki um, and we do all of our work online. Like I do it all remotely and with my flame. And so we do our classes online too. That's the amazing thing about energy is that we're all so deeply connected that it works just as well like that and amazingly. But you are a healer and you're doing an amazing job. Um, maybe check out into getting into that um, in whatever regard. But you know, you just have a different kind of energy where you're healing people whether you realize it or not. Um, and you definitely have been a healer since before you incarnated here. So it's not like, oh, I think I'm a healer. No, you are one and you've been one. So even though you might not think you're helping heal on a cellular level, you always have been. If you think about it, you probably can think about a lot of situations where you were around someone that was sick or injured or whatever because you're just a natural healer. So even just take you helping take care of the situation did amazing things. So you're on the right path. TJ York, amazing, yes. I am trying to attune my frequencies much higher than that. Um, every day I'm just working at raising my vibration. Work on your crown chakra, literally, and that's amazing. Um, you can pray more, you can um, invoke the purple flame. There's a lot of people of the purple ray, angels that are around us and in this um, New Earth United group that are amazing with the purple flame. So um, I would look into that. Get one of them to put you in the purple flame and they'll heal you. Um, I'm an incarnated Blu-ray angel, so I have different kind of gifts. We're more into healing and different things. But literally, they're amazing. Any one of the purple ray is amazing um, with purple light and St. Germain and stuff. So it's just so amazing. Um, I have one of our friends that's of that ray. And she takes the most beautiful pictures with purple light. And... Um, like last summer, I was trying to get a picture because I know I have a halo where if you've opened your crown chakra, you literally will have a halo. That's why they would show like pictures of ascended masters like Jesus with the halo. Or like Mary with the light around their head. So I, w I was outside trying to get a picture. Maybe I'll get one um, when it gets a little bit warmer out. I'll try to get a picture of it. It's really amazing. Work on opening your crown chakra. That was my last chakra to open. And then I reached enlightenment because enlightenment is just having all your chakras open and having more source energy flowing through your body. So just work on that chakra. Pray more. That's your connection with source. Amy Michelle, good morning. Obstacles and challenges. Yes, I know. We're trying to remove them all. <laughs> yes, that's what we're all collectively trying to do. We we woke up. We realized this is crazy. We're not going to live like this anymore. We see through the bullshit. And we're going to create our own reality right here. Now, we have to get rid of these obstacles and challenges. For me, it is that limited program of, I don't know, the reptilian program of, 
you know, fear-based religions, uh, government, they'll just, you'll never have enough, you'll be sick all the time. I'm trying to dismantle that in myself because I know that's not true. I know that's not true at all and that whatever I'm thinking about, I attract. So I'm thinking about love and energy and abundance. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm reprogramming myself so I'm starting to attract better things to me. You put out a love vibe all the time, you'll just get love back all the time. Um, so that's what I'm trying to perfect. I'm trying to work at always just being on a love vibe. Um, I know negativity is going to come at you. Look, we're seeing it everywhere, right? And I'm learning how to just be like this and be um, chill while, with the world falling apart around me. Because I know it's just going to get worse. I mean, like, how much more craziness do people need to wake up? I guess a lot, right? <laughs> I mean, I understand why it has to happen because everyone has to wake up that's going to wake up. And there's some people that want to um, act like they have unlimited time here. And I understand that it's just going to get more intense as time goes on. So just really work at getting rid of these systems. Um, you are energy, okay? So if you're working, we are working for an energy exchange. Like when you go to your 9 to 5 job, you're going to work and you're giving them a certain amount of energy and they're giving you a certain amount of money. Right now, these systems aren't very fair. <laughs> I know, I know. We, we do the same things. It feels like you're giving them all your energy and then what? You get two days off and you can rest. So right now, these systems could be a lot fairer, but there is an energy exchange going on. So theoretically, you're made of energy. You have endless energy from when you wake up till when you go to sleep. Learn how to better channel your energy and put it into positive things and you will see positive results. Just really, um, you are abundant in every way. You've always been taken care of. You're not dead yet, right? <laughs> You're still here. You're still alive. You're okay. And you know what? How about we look at pictures of world hunger and the people that have no water in other countries? I see some of this stuff because I'm really into the news and uh, what's going on. I'm very empathic, so I prefer not to put that on my um, channel, but let's think about it. There are people a lot worse than us. We go to sleep every night. We have somewhere to sleep. We have food. Um, we're taken care of and we have clean water. There are people in this world that are struggling with water. Half this, half the country of Mexico has no water. Um, like Peru too. Peru's underwater. It looks like Hurricane Katrina there right now. Um, there's places getting hit with crazy disasters and you know these governments don't give them money anymore they just take it and keep it now and they're like well why aren't you helping us too well, there's a lot of dynamics but let's just say we all have it so good here um, we really did we picked these lives for a reason because we can do this so just um, just know that any obstacle you placed that on yourself a long time ago and we're removing them we know that's not true it doesn't resonate if you believe you're limited, you will be limited. If you believe you are infinite, you will be infinite. Leanne. I'm glad you caught me live too. I'm just skipping everywhere with cards. Um, work on your sacral. This is about sexuality and power. Um, this also tells me you probably have a green aura. Green and orange. So just know that you're a healer. And work on the, um, this chakra and your heart chakra. Work on these two chakras. And you're a natural healer. You have a very um, healing element about you. I wouldn't be surprised if you were like an air or some kind of calming sign. So just work on your sacral and your heart chakra. Maria Culp. You are here for wisdom. Um, most of it, I'm not speaking it to you. Hopefully on a cellular level, by watching me, you're going to download some information of your own later. And it will help you on a cellular level kind of spark some kind of deep stuff to you on a cellular level. That's my intent. So you are here for wisdom, but in a different way. Um, and that's amazing. We have lots of um, information on our website too. You can go to our website and we have a video page of some videos I like and just lots of stuff on there. I try to put tons of articles up there. So there's just pages and pages. I was trying to find this story once and there was just so many articles. So there's a lot of all stuff that's true and resonates stuff with us on there. So we have a lot of stuff up there. Um, I'll be around for energy work today too, but it's my weekend. I'll be back Monday after today. So I will be around for chakra openings and energy work today. You can set up anything on our site too. And you're all here for wisdom. That's amazing. Tiffany Elizabeth Taylor, work on balance. 
literally. That's what I'm working on. Um, I have a lot going on too. <laughs> Most of you guys see me at work, right? Um, and my flames at work. So we have a lot of stuff going on. We're still trying to get back to that pure state. Um, good luck with that when you have bills, mortgages, all this stuff everywhere, right? Kids, um, let me see, what can I throw in the mix? Jobs, uh, you know, just everything, right? Just responsibilities. So good luck with that. So we're doing something that monks go lock themselves away for their whole lives to do. They go lock themselves up, right? And sometimes it can take them a whole lifetime. Well, we're doing something amazing. We're doing it here with all this stuff going on around us. And we're evolving much rapidly, much more rapidly. Work on balance in every aspect of your life. That's why it's so important that I'm boring. I go to bed the same time every night. I wake up around the same time every day. I'm predictable, but I like to get adequate rest every night. Um, just taking better care of your body, making sure that you get, like I take melatonin and I get good sleep every night. Make sure you're getting good sleep. That will help so much. Get into a routine with things. Work on more balance. Um, we all need to have peace, love, and harmony with everyone around us in our life. If we can't do that with certain people, then they're not serving you. Um, cut ties with them. That's my advice. We need to have peace, love, and harmony in all aspects of our lives. Sometimes that's not possible because not everyone's at the same place. Just use your discernment, but that's the goal. Heather Marie, it cu keeps cutting me off when I'm trying to read what you're saying about your daughter being five. That's all I saw. Um, she's definitely talking to angels. Yeah, she's definitely. Kids are so tuned in. Are you kidding? I can't wait till we have kids. Kids are so tuned in and fun. So much fun. You don't understand. They are at that pure state that we're trying to get back to, right? We spent our whole lifetimes trying to, now we're trying to spend a lifetime going back to it. They're already there. They're tuned in. They're like my dog who can see higher dimensions. When, um, when I came back from astro traveling and I could see all energy around me and all the stuff that's really there, the dog could definitely see it too. When I have crazy, um, visions or like, things going on in the other realm the dog sees it too he's very tuned in he can see um, higher dimensions than I can right now with my regular eyes so I pay attention to the dog because um, in a minute he would alert us to any kind of uh, any kind of higher dimensional activity in our house the angels play with my dog too it's so cute I'm not even joking um, my mom does too she plays with the dog and um, my Sparks' dad does too it's really cute and I love it it's very comforting to me so yeah, your kids um, will have relationships with their relatives even if they didn't know them. Um, our ancestors take really big pride in us and watch after us. So but remember, we have all the knowledge of our ancestors and our DNA. They have great interest in us, trust me. So there, she's much more connected and tuned in. And um, as a child, I, could, I was really gifted. I could like see auras and energy. And I had people trying to drill it out of me. Now imagine if I had been raised differently and those kind of skills have been cultivated. So it's really amazing um, that we have awake parenting going on um, because um, we're getting ready to have a niece. <laughs> we're having a niece and it's crazy. Sparks is going to be an uncle. I can't wait. Um, I'm already an aunt a bunch of times, but I never get to see my nieces or nephews. So this is exciting for us. We can't wait. There'll be a baby close to us. So um, I, and we can already see the whole baby's future. We love it. So, so we can see where um, these babies awake. He says, you have to tell her about vaccines. <laughs> I said, this child will be vaccinated to the max. They will be medicated. They will be put in public school. Um, let me think what else. You know, she eats, she eats good food, though. She eats um, holistic kind of food. But this child will be vaccinated so badly by the time they're two years old. I can just imagine. We're just like... Oh man, so just imagine awake parenting compared to unconscious parenting. And we all went through unconscious parenting with our own families. It wasn't that much fun. So now that we're parenting awake, it's amazing. Um, and just really pay attention to your kid. That kid's tuned in. Um, give her some art to express herself. Get her into drawing the things she sees and stuff. And she's definitely, you're definitely not crazy. I think everyone else is crazy, trust me. Princess Kells. No, everyone else is crazy. Um, 
literally princess, how to say princess, Kels. Sorry, I keep losing the names. Literally everyone else is crazy. You're opening your third eye and you're using your awareness. That's your intended to the cosmos. And for once you're using your intuition because I went through these systems where I went and I did what they told me and I wasn't happy and I was miserable and whatever. If that's how you gauge success, I'm not with it. Um, I am done listening and to others and I'm just gonna make my own way. I'm following, taking my own path and I'm using my intuition it's amazing and it's brought you guys to me and we're gonna end up in the same place so personally everyone else is crazy around us it's amazing that you're so awake and aware um, you literally should start eating coconut oil with your diet it will help your third eye so much Tanya Buck Buchanan foundation and achievements this is the twin flame card um, because when we first got together we saw double rainbows several times I love the rainbow symbolism. It's beautiful and amazing. Um, and you'll see signs everywhere, like maybe it's feathers. I, I see feathers like every day. <laughs> For me, I get feathers a lot. Um, just really little things like birds, things like that sent to you. Just pay attention. You're going to start seeing signs. You're, if you're not already in one, you're getting ready for a spiritual union. Um, I say this is the American dream family, uh, the American dream card. That's what we're trying to do, which is kind of a joke at this point, but we're really doing the American dream. Um, so it's kind of like the little family card. So it's a beautiful card. And I'm paying attention to the time, sorry. But Amanda Mimosa, <laughs> Mimosa, I can never say it. Yes, new beginning. I think I just covered this. Um, literally, it's a new beginning. I thought it was the end. Oh my God, end times, right? We had those blood moons right before I woke up. You know, oh my God, end times. But no, it's really a new beginning, literally, and it's beautiful. Um, you're becoming more positive. You're turning this around. And that's a deadly combination. <laughs> you're going to manifest your dreams and you're going to do it amazingly. So just stay positive. This is a new beginning. We're about to see crazy things. Crazy things. Like, I'm really getting ready for a pull shift. And um, this isn't like, oh my god, really? Like, I'm really getting ready for it. I know a lot of people have been saying that since 2012. But our calendars are screwed. Um, they couldn't even interpret it. They couldn't line a Mayan calendar up with our years ever because our calendars have been distorted so badly like all of our other systems. So I know a lot of people have been saying this for years, but we're really getting ready for a pull shift. Angela Pimpalinella. You're moving on. You're moving on from the old to the new. Um, as you know, you're getting the universe will help you get rid of anyone and anything not serving you. Um, so I know some people, like I just had some friends around me whose energy was saying differently and the universe has kindly removed them for me from my life. So you don't really have to even do a lot. The universe will just continually work to um, keep people in vibrational alignment around you. So as your vibration changes, the people around you might change. Just go with it. Move on from anyone and anything not serving you. We must become lighter um, and just go with it. You're on a divine plan. It's so amazing because um, I don't know if you remember, but I've met you in person before. This was many years ago in Florida when I lived there. And this was a long time ago. Um, and we were kind of on the same path then, right? And then many years later, we're back on a different path. And it's kind of amazing to watch and be around. Just work at becoming lighter. You're doing so good. Um, and your baby's already helping you wake up um, on a really deep level and healing you. Ginny, Ginny Grigola, I'm old enough to be your mom. I am drinking uh, iced tea. It's not very healthy. My twin flame will tell you I can't believe you drink that. Yes, it's what my body likes. I don't know if you're old enough to be my mom. I look really young. You'd be surprised, but um, just be careful because we're going to go into a storm this weekend. So things are going to pick up intensity. So things are kind of calm right now, right? We're at a calm in the storm, but as this moon energy comes closer, it's going to make it a little crazy. So just work on staying grounded um, this weekend. I would hope you're not old enough to be my mom. Uh, I look really young. I'm getting, I'm reverse aging. I'm getting younger every day as opposed to getting older every day. That we actually only age and die when we're like 100 years old because we believe it. But if you can reach a certain level of spiritual purity, you can actually reverse age and repair that damage instead of progressing it. So every day I am waking up younger, which is amazing. Um, but just really stay grounded this weekend. Stay grounded. 
it's like um, my phone's going haywire. It's like a hamster in the ball, and we're just getting kicked around. Just try to stay grounded, get in the nature. Let's see. My phone's going haywire. It's been going crazy. I actually, um, I checked my some of my Facebook messages this morning, and I wrote back like five people, and it didn't send the messages. So I was so annoyed because I already hate checking my messages, and I was just like, so my phone's kind of going crazy. Bear with me. Brittany Renee, yes, angel numbers. They are trying to show you you're on the right path. Um, just watch out just what's cutting you off from source or the flow um, when you're in the flow you'll be seeing these angel numbers you'll be having a really good day you'll be high vibe and sometimes we can't keep up that intensity so just try to really um, insert yourself in the flow how I do that I do that by being an empty channel um, where I'm just here to help I'm kind of go with the flow whatever and it really helps put me in the flow um, I try to be really positive just really pay attention energetically to anything that's cutting you off or makes you feel drained that's a good way to tell like if people make you feel drained um, you probably shouldn't be around them some people will seem really high vibe and you'll be around them and it's just so draining like so just stay away from people that drain you Amanda Reed truth um, this is a key you need to access higher dimensions, truth. That's why it's so important we speak our truth. Um, it helps us and others in a deep way. So sometimes um, my truth might not line up with your truth completely. People don't understand this. People are still trying to push their path on other people. But we all have our own paths. Um, there's many ways to ascend. So really just speak your truth. Um, it might, some people, it might not resonate with them. Well, it's not their truth. It's okay. So it is the truth. So just speak your truth. You might offend some people. Um, and I'm confident that as people leave my Facebook page, I'll make room for new people that want to be there. So speak your truth. It doesn't matter who you offend. I saw Katie Curry. And you, this is the same card. I don't know if I've seen this before with Deja Vu or I gave you this card yesterday. I want to say I gave you this card yesterday. If not, I already have already just remote viewed this. I know, craziness. Solitude, go meditate. I really have already given you this. Um, literally, go meditate. Spend time alone. Um, you're working on mastering self-love. I know, it's so hard, right? Um, I can love everyone else so much easier than myself, right? <laughs> We're working on being nicer to ourselves. Meditate. Spend more time alone. Um, you're an amazing person. I told someone this morning, I wish some of you guys could see yourselves the way I see you because I see energy and I see souls and I see some amazing, beautiful people around me and sometimes we just don't see it yet. Um, you're just such an amazing person. Spend some time meditating, Katie. Kathy Shipper. Well, yes, you're celebrating because you've made it this far. Um, ascension is a hard path. Um, and I guess if you want to get technical, they say there's 144,000 chosen people. I guess that will be us. I'm not really into chosen people, though, because I believe anyone can choose to ascend. But you should be celebrating that you've made it this far. Um, you're doing a really amazing job on your spiritual path. So it's just amazing. So celebrate. Stay positive. Wake up with gratitude and love every day, and your entire brain will rewire itself. Your entire brain. All you have to do is be grateful every day for something. And, uh, Linda Ben. You're working on your solar plexus. This tells me you're very empathic or you're supposed to be. Um, so you need, since you're like a sponge, you need to, first off, make sure you can discern between your own energy and feelings and other people's. That was a lesson I had to learn with it. But make sure you're detoxing your aura every day, pretty much, either with nature or a salt bath. Um, I was taking a sea salt bath every day instead of a shower, and it was doing amazing things for me energetically until our bathtub broke. Um, but literally, every day I would just take in a salt bath and replace my shower with it, and um, it was cleaning my aura in a deep kind of way that a shower won't do. So get, uh, make best friends with some sea salt. Um, start eating Himalayan salt too. Instead of regular salt, everyone should be eating um, Himalayan salt. It's a lot better for you. William McMahon, emotional loss. You're working on your heart chakra um, so you can be open to unconditional love. It's only through some kind of pain, past pain, grief, death, etc. And having a loss can we love unconditionally and with our whole heart. 
So we're working on opening our heart chakras. I see um, fiber magelda is caused by a heart blocked heart chakra. I was just um, giving someone healing advice that had Lyme disease yesterday. That's also a blocked heart chakra. And if anyone's having heart chakra problems, um, I would recommend it. I'm about to post this again. I keep saying chlorella, chlorella, chlorella. Um, I feel like a broken record. I've said it like seven times in 24 hours. Maybe because we're getting doused with metals. It's in our food, air, water. Maybe that's why um, I'm feeling such a need that a lot of health problems are being caused by these metals because people, um, you know, your cereal tastes good, but you're not aware that you're eating metal. I mean, it tastes great, right? I used to love Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I'm not allowed to eat it anymore because it's straight metal in it, but it tastes good. So I know some of these things are being presented as good for us, um, but they're not, and we really have to detox these metals out of our body. They won't come out of our body any other way. They won't just come out. They'll stay in your body forever. They'll accumulate in your brain. They're going to our third eyes. Um, I just had surgery and I had to do a chlorella detox after surgery, after any kind of pharmaceuticals, um, any kind of metal exposure. And you know they're in pharmaceuticals, your food, your air, etc. Or if you live in like a heavy spray area, it's just good to do it at least once a year probably. Um, it's just a gentle detox. So things to think about. Brenda Rogers, are you a Taurus? Me too. <laughs> I didn't know there, see, I didn't know there was the bowl emoji when I did it before I would use like the really scary kind of looking face. Work on being, not being so stubborn, but Tauruses are very tuned in with their senses. Um, I think it's good because I'm tuned into the other realm. My flames are Virgo. We kind of um, complement each other in every way. So it's amazing. You're waking up to things are not what they seem. Um, I used to think that everything looked great too when I was looking with my eyes until I could see with my third eyes. And now I see how evil these people look and all around me. And I'm just like, oh man. <laughs> so I view things much differently. Um, not to dwell on things, but humanity is enslaved by reptilians. And we're trying to, we're kind of in the middle of a spiritual war. And um, it's kind of a crazy time to be alive right now. We're all paying off karma from living in Atlantis. There's just so many dynamics going on. It's crazy. And just look at it really like it's a school. It's an earth school. Um, you're going to level up soon. All of us are. And we're trying to get out of the third dimension permanently. And we're trying to learn in higher dimensions. So things aren't what they seem, but anchor into nature. Get out into nature. That's why I love um, Nikki. We have Nikki Baba, Ta Golden, in Australia. They're always outside. It's beautiful there. I wish we had koalas and eucalyptus here. Um, yeah, so <laughs> try to get outside though anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, I might live in a city area. I try to walk my dog and let the sun hit my third eye. Get out into nature anyway. I don't care where you live. Go sit by a tree, even if you're in the city. Get out. Connect with nature. Um, I saw an article where if you're in dirt, because I know a lot of people are telling you you should eat the dirt stuff. I wouldn't do it. Me and my flame joke about it. Sorry, I wouldn't eat um, any kind of stuff like that. It's just me. But if you go put your um, put your feet bare, go put your bare feet into dirt, there's antidepressants in the soil that will actually go into your body and heal you. So go ground yourself. Go barefoot outside. Go connect with the soil. It literally will detox your entire body in a deep kind of way. So we all have access to nature and it will just purify our energy instantly. Go spend more time outside. We have Nikki Baba. I just was talking about you because I'm psychic. Hope. <laughs> This tells me you're a powerful healer, but I already know this because my flame is a Virgo and he's an amazing healer. Um, he just uh, needs a little direction. That's what I help him with. I give him direction with it. So um, this is a light ball. I know I can throw light balls too because I've done it on accident before um, when I was really charged up and upset and uh, had kind of a mishap with one. So I know I can throw them, um, but it kind of didn't really like scare me, but I'm just aware of how powerful they are. Um, so I'm really, I wouldn't mess with them so much, but I believe um, that I know for a fact elementals have their uh, light ball capacities, elementals as in fairies. Um, elves, things of that nature are really versed in those kind of things, but you have amazing abilities with light balls. I don't know a lot about them. Maybe research it. I know you can throw them to people for healing, but since I saw it thrown in a negative capacity, they scared me a little bit, but this just tells me anyone who gets this card that you're really a powerful energy worker, um, to be able to work with light balls. I don't think everyone has the skill to be able to do that. Um, but I do know some people are well versed in that. Look into that. 
Brenda Rogers. I'm like all over the place. You are a star seed. The universe is a huge place. Um, I know there's people that believe we're limited and this is the most important planet there is, but um, this is a very unevolved planet. <laughs> there's much more evolved civilizations out there, let's just say. Um, work on raising your vibration so you can better connect with your soul family or your extraterrestrial people you're working with. We had to raise our vibrations to be able to communicate with these higher entities. Um, sometimes you'll see me with a lot of like, almost, I would describe it almost like high frequency energy that I'm working with. So it makes me a little like, um, I talk fast or whatever. It's harder to channel. So even with my vibe as high as I can get it, I do notice vibrational differences when I'm working with these kind of entities. Just work on raising your vibration so you can better communicate. Jessica Edwards, you're already so successful in everything you're doing. Um, that's why you've been led to me. Um, you're doing an amazing job. You're on the right path. Go out there and make big decisions. Um, take control of your life. We have to change things and create them the way we want them. Any kind of negative thing that you've ever seen in your life, you create it. Any kind of positive thing, you create it too. We um, are just becoming more aware of it and learning how to better create the things we want. So we're still learning. Kendra Anastasia. Work on your root chakra. Let go of fear, literally. Like, literally. We have to let go of fear. The problem with that is they all play out. Um, my twin flame has had a lot of fears when I met him. All tons of them. Fear and anxiety. And I watched him destroy the whole apartment we lived in with his mind, okay? <laughs> I watched things fall apart. It was just insane to me. It was just insane. Talk about mind blown. So I, I've seen this like up close and personal that you will manifest those fears. <laughs> so if you're thinking about something you're afraid of, it will play out in the real world. So we want to stay away from fear. We only want to create things out of love. Just work on it. Becca Sanat. Spiritual strength. This is for everyone. We're working on a spiritual strength, literally. Um, and that's all that matters. That's why, like in the Bible, when they say people will be hollow in the end, and days. That's right now. We know. Um, a lot of people are just energetically depleted. Um, my twin flame at his job says, this guy next to me is so sick. <clears throat> and his energy is so weak. And I'm like, just keep sending him healing energy. But some people, their energy just isn't handling these energies. His mom is doing really bad. Um, a lot of people just, um, especially of the negative capacity, are not handling these energies good. So we want to be positive. I want to have a positive polarity. Um, someone asked, what makes someone negative or positive? Well, if your service of self, um, it makes you have a negative polarity. If your service of others, it gives you a positive one. But we know this deep down. That's why when we planned out our lives, a lot of us planned to be parents or, you know, lovers or whatever. To be service of others in some way. So we're working on having more of a positive polarity all the time. Um, everyone has darkness and light in them. We're working on balancing that and turning the darkness into light. That's what this process is. So just work on this spiritual strength. That's what I'm working on every day. We're working on getting back to a very pure state um, every day, like 24-7. I don't just stop doing live videos and that's it. It's just, it's just what we're doing. It's our mission. And we work so hard just to be together, <laughs> just to be together. That's like our reward. We do it so that we can be together and we're trying to help humanity and I'm really seeing just such positive ripple effects. So just try to create more of a positive ripple effect because all you have to do is like, I don't know, smile at a stranger, open a door for someone, be a little bit nicer and it can make someone's whole day because every person that you're coming across has really been through so much that you know nothing about and we just had to be nicer to people that's why I'll see a lot of people um, talking a lot about spirituality what it comes down to for me is being nicer to people and if I can't be nice to someone I'm gonna try to remove myself from that scenario um, maybe I shouldn't be around that person if I'm having a hard time being nice so really I'm just trying to um, just surround myself with better vibes so just try to vibe higher ignore this stuff and when some surprise me if a lot of craziness happens um, and we have a another false flag real attack in New York who knows um, just vibe higher rest you guys should be resting I'm about to get off of here but everyone um, in New Zealand and Australia you guys should be going to sleep right now 
<laughs> literally because you're gonna sleep so good tonight um, just conditions are great for dreaming here's a life hack ask your higher self to show you a dream before you go to sleep if you want to remember your dreams better put a quartz crystal by your bed um, I have some kind of some kind of thing over here a quartz crystal it will help you remember your dreams um, really clear so literally, um, it's ideal for dreaming and astro traveling. Get some rest because things are going to get crazy again after this next storm. So sending you guys lots of love and light and healing energy and bye.